What's up guys and gals, welcome back to Tropico for the next episode of our Tropico 5 playthrough. I love this game. I love Tropico. I don't know what it is about Tropico, but compared to other building games, they just don't hold a candle. I'm, I don't know what it is that Tropico sells me on, but every time a Tropico game comes out, I find myself utterly and completely obsessed with it for about 25 hours. After which point I wait for the next expansion to come out and I enjoy it just as much every single time. In between episodes I went through and I made sure that everything is electrified, which for these normal houses right here actually puts them up to 80 housing quality, which is pretty damn good. That's about as high as you can get without electrifying a mansion. I think I missed this one. Yep. Missed that one right there. Did I miss this little block? Damn it. Alright, well let's get these guys all taken care of. These people have gardens in their front yard? Oh yeah, they have like little agave. Actually, they're growing different crops too. The attention to detail. So these people appear to be growing agave, whereas these people are growing a little cornfield. These people have like a weed field going on, I don't know. Anyways, they can grow whatever the hell they want. We have no prohibition here in Tropico. What we need to do is assign our new research because the game has been paused the entire time and... Let's go with tanks, man. How awesome does that sound? Let's build ourselves some tanks. So if anybody tries to roll out on us, we can just shoot them in the face. We need to do a lighthouse. So let's complete that quest for the capitalists, and then in just a moment we'll go back through, I think it's under, what is that even under? Just economy? I don't think it even does anything. I think it gives you extra, let me look and see what the description says. Gives you additional trade offers. Okay. It's not quite so bad. Is the lighthouse red? Or like, oh it goes out in the water. How the hell do you construct something that's out in the water? I'm sort of interested to figure this out. Guess we'll put it right there. Oh, it just auto-builds itself, so it just kind of drops in magically with the help of aliens, as Jeff Major would say. I'm trying. I don't know if this is a little sneak peek for you guys, but I'm going to contact Jeff, and I know he's been on hiatus, and I really want to do a collab with him. outages today. We even had some trouble here at the bar. The rodeo bull stopped working for half an hour until I got two electric eels to power it up. Alright, so insert punchline there, I suppose. We need a grocery for this little residential area. And so I'm going to do my best to drop one in at a place that will be best conducive to the shopping happiness of everyone involved. That construction office is looking okay. We need a Teamsters union now for this area. So let me put in another Teamsters office. We'll drop that. Does it fit? Oh, it fits right there. Good. I'm always happy when I, I don't assume that any building is ever going to fit where I want it. But when it does, that doesn't stop me from making joyous dances and also proclamations to the sky gods about the happiness of oh good we got agricultural community too that probably has something to do with the fact that I built a bunch of farms out here let's go ahead and put these on maximum happiness there we are and so now that the happiness has been maximized on all farms we'll do selective breeding right there effectiveness increases each month after this building is built that's actually an incredibly good bonus to put on there. Bean processing, we'll go ahead and drop that in right away because we have the surplus cash right now to do so. And I think this is just going to keep going out into this direction. We got a, we've got such a flat map that I really do want to take advantage of the fact, oh, we have a gold deposit. I didn't even notice that earlier, so that's going to be making us insanely wealthy later on in the game. Over here, we'll probably put in a little residential district, but I want to focus on one thing at a time right now. Oh, good. It's not counting because it's flush with the road. Sometimes this happens. It shouldn't, but it doth. So anyways, what we've got to do is we've got to drop down into this menu right here. we got to demolish it, which is disappointing because we just wasted a whole bunch of money on it, but you got to do what you got to do. We'll also put in some schools and things over here. I don't think that's a terrible idea. So we'll go for welfare. We'll drop a church over here to make the religious happy. I know that we do have a few religious sects in our midst, so we should probably drop a church around here somewhere. So there we go. We'll put in a church. Actually, wrong spot. Cancel that construction. That was where the police station's going. So let's go to our police station first. We'll put the police station in before we do anything else. So there's our police station to keep people nice and safe. You want to have those near your residential areas because it helps get rid of a lot of the crime. They do cost a little bit of extra money, but money's not a problem that we have anything to worry about at the moment. How much are we embezzling? What is this? Are we out of electricity? Or is the power just out? Oh, okay, so we're having a little bit of a power influx at the moment. It may be time to drop another power plant around somewhere and just sort of link them together. The music in this game always reminds me of the music. There used to be an MMO back in the day called Pirates of the Burning Sea. The music in this game really reminds me of it to the point, especially the one that's playing right now, 
to the extent that, and I would turn it up for you, but I'm afraid somebody will sue me if I do, the fears that exist on YouTube. Unfortunately, music is like the death of many channels, so you've got to be very, very careful about that stuff. Did I electrify all this already? Okay, that's all electrified. We can't upgrade Teamsters, unfortunately, which is disappointing, but we have nothing right there. We could upgrade it once we get into the Cold War period, but we're not quite there yet. I think we got another 20 years or so until we hit the Cold War. Give or take, Maso Menos. Did I upgrade all these two? Okay, so that's all upgraded. What about the drivers? Can they be upgraded now? They can't. All of our grids are just boned right now. I should probably have done reforestation over here, but I appear to have lost the plot when I deployed it. Disappointing. I'm going to put in a... I noticed that I had two tobacco farms that were going unutilized. And so what I'm going to do over here is we're going to go to our luxury exports. And we're just going to drop ourselves in a cigar factory. Because I don't think we have one right now. Let me check to make sure. But yeah, we just have the rum distillery. Nothing else is going on from it. So we might as well just build ourselves something to make use of the raw tobacco that we're already producing. We're controlling both ends of our production. Basically, we're producing and we're refining. So we might as well make the best use of it that we can. I'm going to continue putting in houses over on this side because it looks like homelessness continues to be a problem. I was worried that our money might drop after we enacted Social Security and a couple other edicts, but we, it looks like we're okay. During the World War period, I would also say that we probably want to go with lowers the wealth required for living in all residential buildings. Upkeep. Yeah, let's go mortgage subsidies. If it lowers the amount of rent required, I think this will actually help out a lot. Wealth required poor. And so that should allow us to get everybody living. Now this could also backfire on me and make it so that nobody wants to live in my houses because sometimes people don't want to live below their means in this game. It's a weird balance you have to strike. Like every now and again I end up in a situation where I have more than enough housing that's super, super cheap. But when people's income is way higher than what it was before or what they need in order to live in that location, they want to upgrade. They aren't happy with what they've been given. And so you've got to be careful about that situation. We've got more homeless going on, and this time a lot of them are actually grade school educated. That's still just people that are going to live in lower class housing. With regards, oh, we have 666 citizens. A pall of evil has fallen over our city. And when I say that, it's just some guy named Paul. He's got a robe. He puts it over his head. He rattles chains all the time. He's like, I am the pall of misery! And he just makes all kinds of noise in the background. I've tried to get him to go away. We've shot him with the fire hose. He still keeps coming back. He's really kind of a glutton for punishment. We've got unemployed people as well. Most of whom are illiterate. So let's go ahead and give President, them the opportunity. We discovered the tank. It was left unlocked at a military exhibition. We took it for a spin and for a while controlled most of Europe. We eventually ran out of fuel, but we managed to dismantle the tank and smuggle it back home. Now, we just have to figure out how to put it back together again. Oh, Penultimo. You're such a card. You and your shenanigans. You select a new research before I forget, because I will. I will forget. I should probably go with, now that we know that we have a gold mine, I'm going to go with military skills for now because the gold mine is not going to be utilized at least until the Cold War period. We've got another bauxite deposit right there that I'll probably make use of pretty soon. Are people working out here? Good. I'm glad to see that people are working. That makes me happy. We've got a bunch more immigrants coming in, so 15 new citizens. I think what I'd like to do now is continue developing, how much does it cost to live in a house now? well off that's all that they require so if you can be well off and live in a house I may try and modernize all let's hang tight until we've got a bunch more cash and then we'll modernize all of these and I think that'll actually send our living situation through the roof we just made a whole bunch of money although not as much as I want to make I don't think this one can actually export as fast as we're bringing things into it so it may be time to put a new dock in on the southern edge let's do it and so there's our new dock along the south side of town. Sitting by the dock of the island, I guess. We don't have a bay. We don't have a bay, so the song doesn't hold true right there. But we'll go with more dock workers, since we do need uneducated labor anyways. We've got the police station over here. Let's go ahead and max out their budget. We'll also go with a fire brigade and a radio dispatch. We've got the cash right now in the budget, so I don't see any problem implementing stuff like that. We can't upgrade any of these over here. We'll go community aid. With the tavern, we can't do anything with it. We can go with electrification of our mansions, but 
Not gonna do it right now. The college, can we upgrade research projects? Yeah, let's go with research projects. These haven't been electrified because we need a new power plant, so we probably want to go back through and take care of that. Let me pause the game while I do this so that random stuff isn't going wrong. We've got a farmer's fair. We'll go there for the grocery. We need one of those up here as well, so we'll go farmer's fair on that side just to make sure that everybody's getting the food distributed that they need. The other larger buildings, the Three Penny Opera. We'll lower the wealth required to go to the opera so that more people can be educated. We'll also go academic department over here at the library. I missed that right there, so we'll upgrade you. These are all good. The church has community aid. What about the big churches? Do they have anything? They have community aid as well, so we'll go along with that. Our church now has AIDS. The cabaret will leave that where it's at, and it looks like I did screw up and put the front on the wrong side. That looks rather seedy. That's definitely a seedy looking building. It's the kind of building that looks like it has live nudes glowing from the front of it. The bank, we're already doing that. Over here, we want to make sure that the budget is high on our dock workers to make sure that things that are being exported are getting on in over here. We're lacking in power. Not necessarily in terms of our political clout, but we're lacking in electrical power, so we'll probably want to suit up the electrical grid pretty soon. We'll go with the conditioned dryers right now so that we can dry out our tobacco a little bit quicker and make that more profitable. Basically, all that does is it makes sure that it requires less input and it maintains the same current amount of output. And so it's pretty much a win-win for us. I'm going to drop a Teamsters office in right here to help out with the hauling jobs. I'm going to space it back by one because they seem to not like it when I space it forward by one. And I think that's about all of the random little things I need to get done for now. I'm going to put in a few more... We've got entertainment over here. So I'm going to put in another opera house, even though it's exp Actually, no, we won't go with the... Let's go with something a little bit smaller that we can fit in around. We'll put in a casino over here because what's conducive to a successful society aside from gambling? That should help all of our poor people remain that way. We've got ancient ruins right here. Okay, whatever. Suppose I could put in a cabaret as well, and that'll help keep everybody squared away with regards to their entertainment. And then once they get done sinning over here, although I think we're an atheist society, right? Oh, we're a secular state now. Okay, so for the people that care, once they get done sinning, they can jump across the street and go to church. And we'll do a community outreach right here. Actually, I can do this better. I can do this better. Let's take the church. I guess we'll put it right here. There we are. And we'll do a community outreach right there to make our lives a little bit better. Our happiness for our religious citizens, anyways. What's the split of our population right now with regards to our demographics? We're in pretty good standing with just about everybody. The militarists like us. The communists were beloved, and they make up such a large portion of our population anyways that I wouldn't worry about it. We want to be in with the religious, though. And so immigrant nation, that makes the religious upset? Well, I think the if you have something that they don't like, I think the maximum you can get up to is 60. So my guess is that we should probably continue to we should probably continue to drop religious buildings here and there. Just pepper them lightly throughout the countryside in order to add more religious flavor to the area, but until then, over here we need to put in some guard towers too to ensure that if we ever get invaded, we can fight back with some sort of uneven terrain, really. All right, well, we'll put them in over here. Kind of drop them randomly along this boulevard to ensure that nobody messes with us. And then in the inner city, I should probably put these in here as well, just to guarantee we don't have any gang violence or anything like that. Put snipers up in the tower so that if anything goes down, it gets handled post-haste. We have uneven terrain over here, and so instead I think my recommendation on this side will probably drop a guard tower or two over here. So that if they invade from this side, we at least have something in between us and imminent demise. They're expensive, but since we also have conscripts with regards to our military, that'll make sure that we also have a couple of extra jobs for the unemployed people who are making up... We have 14 unemployed people right now, and they are not college graduates anyways, so who cares? They are all aligned strongly with the lower class. The working class, I guess, is the better way to put that. I prefer the word working class when referring to myself. I feel like that's a little bit better with regards to my terminology. An army base is still waiting on us. He's waiting on the edicts over here as well. 
We discovered a way to decrease casualties in battle. We just have to put the most incompetent and useless soldiers up in front of the army and make them wear ornate uniforms in bright colors. This will make them feel important and add to their self-esteem while keeping them out of the way. <laughs> awesome. There's our first save screen of the evening. I'm going to go with research over here. We're not going to be able to do any of this stuff until the Cold War period. And so let's just go with the jewelry factory because we have nothing better to do right now. So I suppose that we'll, we'll, lay it, we'll kind of play it as it lies right now, I guess. Make sure that we're increasing the budgets as they need to be increased. However, power is on a little bit of a down spike right now. So in the interest of keeping things interesting, I'm going to put a power plant out here. I don't know if I want to drop it right there. I mean, the other possibility is that we add it to our newly developed residential section. But I don't feel like that's the best positioning for it. I'll put it right here. I've got this large tract of land that's not being used anyways. It's going to take forever to build this giant bastard, and it was quite expensive. So we're going to be waiting for a little bit. We got new trade offers, too. I should take a look at my trade lanes and figure out what's the most lucrative. We've got 53 months remaining on our contract right there, so we're about halfway through with our exportation. I don't know if that's even a word. Our export of steel to the Axis. We have a pretty good exit. Let's export... Wait, what? Why is the Axis upset with us? Hold on, to the Embassy! But that's not said very often. Where is my embassy at? It was one of these buildings. There it is. Do you want to praise the allies in order to increase your foreign relations? Let's expel the allies. We'll invite the Axis and then we will praise them so that we can get a little bit of extra renown so that we can get that next shipping line because being able to export cigars to the Axis I think has the possibility of being incredibly lucrative for us. I've already done all our upgrades right here. Make sure that the Teamsters are upgraded entirely. Our drivers are looking pretty good right now. Which means that we should be ready to play golf very shortly. Alright. Pretty pleased with the progress we've made during this episode. For the first time, though, we've actually spent money. So I want to hang out for a little bit and kind of watch where this goes and see if recovery occurs. If recovery doth not occur... It should occur, I think. But I get nervous whenever I spend a lot of money in this game. I do the same thing in real life, too. Every time I have buyer's remorse so badly, Someone if I buy... really hate us. It is bad luck to have one tornado on your island, but we have several. It must be a conspiracy. All right, so we're going to have to weather the storm literally right here, which is going to be a big, big problem. The figurative nature of that statement is unfortunately removed. God, please just don't hit the power plant. That's all that I care about. Hit the power plant, and this is going to be... We have made a major breakthrough. Ooh, anyway, we have the duck dead. Oh, shiny. Our research indicates that... Oh, shiny. Our research goes... Oh, never mind. Jewelry factory has been unlocked. Good. Unfortunately, with these tornadoes rampaging around, we fired all our artillery we could at them, but it landed in the residential area, and so now we have a bunch of dead citizens, and also tornadoes going around. In the media, we just blamed it all on the tornadoes. We said that they came in packing. They came in hot. And the so now... The tornado outbreak is over. I have conducted a thorough investigation to determine who is responsible for these tornadoes. Based on the data, the culprit is... Me? No, wait a camera. Here is the rest of the report while I figure out where I miscalculated. So we lost eight citizens, we lost a building, or five buildings, and then one damage. That actually didn't go too terribly. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. Let's pause the game and we'll fix all of our problems over here. I also need to upgrade the budget of our military buildings. Community aid right there to make things a bit smoother in this area. We'll repair that building. We already did fire brigade and dispatch. 
Rebuild you. Rebuild you. And we also need to... Luckily, none of our farms appear to have been wiped out, which is the big worry that I had. Based on where the tornadoes were centralized around, I was really kind of concerned that... What is this? It looks like the wars in Europe will finally end. It is but a matter of time before the Allies deal the Axis a crushing blow. We need to be prepared for the New World Order. And so we need to sign treaties with both sides so that we can guarantee nobody will blame us for all that happened. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're going to try and sign a treaty with the Axis. We'll send an ambassador right now. Okay, so she gave us an option to make another Teamsters office. Which is disappointing because we just made one. And so that's a little bit of a downer, but can't be helped right now. How about this power plant over here? How is it doing? Power plant? Oh no, I put it over here. That's right. My other... My other goal is going to be to drop a few more schools in because we have a large population right now and I need to up the output of educated citizens before I go any further. We've got rolling blackouts at the moment which is causing us problems so hopefully this will get finished soon. Have scored a crushing victory over the Axis. Now they are targeting the last pockets of resistance, and everyone they deem a sympathizer. Oh, that's bad. So unfortunately, we've fallen on the blacklist, chap. Good news is they probably won't send their best and brightest against our small and homely island. Yeah, my guess is this is probably going to go pretty rapidly. Maybe. I mean, we sh we should be able to wipe a lot of these guys out. We're also deploying... Where's our death squad? I want to see our death squad in action. Yeah, that's right. Step up against Tropico. See what happens. Get wiped out. Get dealt with, son. Look at that. Your tanks can't save you. They just beat you with infantry. We didn't even... We beat you with rifles when you had tanks. And we have successfully repelled the enemy invasion. This is why you build so many towers. They are godly. And so now that the allies have been dealt with, we can virtually guarantee that for the next 60 years, they're going to be very, very grumpy with us. I don't think... I don't think we have properly set ourselves up for the way that the future is going to play out. But we did our best. We did our best. And so that in mind, I guess we'll just keep on trucking. Did I put in reforestation? I forgot! No! Okay. So we have an election coming in. I forgot to do reforestation over here. I feel like such a dunce right now. We'll go ahead and do reforestation. It's not going to save us. But too little too late, being what it is. On this side, our iron mine still has loads and loads of bits left. Did that end our exports with the Axis as well? Let's take a look at our trade menu and figure out... So that still stands? We're still exporting steel to the Axis? I guess we're still exporting to them, so... It says that they were wiped out. I don't know how we're still exporting things to a faction that no longer exists, but... I'll take it at face value and just not think about it that hard. Any other interesting exports? A bunch of exports to the Axis. We can also export jewelry and cigars. Yeah. Most of that's still going to be going to the Axis, and so I don't really want to sign any more treaties with somebody that's been wiped out. We might consider exporting as much aluminum as possible once we get to the next phase of the game. But I think with where we're at right now, having repelled that invasion, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Tropico 5. I look forward to seeing you all in the episodes that are coming up. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.